just breaks my heart that it's come to this. Honestly, I... I wanted to believe in you and I wanted to trust you, but it's just the same old lies and secrets. It's, it's, it's never gonna change. Stephanie, please. We're better than this. Yes, I thought we were. That's what I thought. I thought we were going to be friends, but I don't think that's possible now. Because in the end, you, you seem to betray people. You've betrayed me. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, is it that you just can't help yourself? Dad, you can't be serious. It's over, Thomas. I'm putting out a memo announcing the end of the taboo line, effective immediately. Well, you can't. Watch me. OK, Dad, I get it. You're upset because I kissed Brooke on the plane. You have every right to be, but let's at least talk about this. There's nothing to discuss. Look, son, I love you, but you crossed the line. OK. Can you please just take a step back and think about this? Taboo has been incredibly successful for us. The most lucrative line we've had in decades. You want to pull Taboo because of one stupid kiss. Don't do this, Dad. This line means everything to me. But don't make a foolish business decision because you're going to regret it. Stephanie, please don't do this. You've done this all to yourself. You're not even giving me a chance to explain. So you can make excuses and lie like you always do? It's not like I wanted this to happen. I didn't kiss Thomas. You encouraged him. No, I did nothing to encourage him. Thomas knew it was wrong the minute he kissed me. He regretted it immediately. I told him it could never happen and again. And if it was nothing, then why were you hiding it from Rich? Because I didn't want it to upset their relationship. Oh. You were protecting yourself. What did Ridge tell you? No more scandals, no more secrets. And you've kept this from him. That's so foolish. Don't you realize what a huge mistake this is? This is really gonna cost you. Thomas, you're being very cavalier about this, and that really concerns me. Yes, I know how mad you are, but I feel like you can get past it. Because you and I are exactly the same. Come on, Dad. You never once kissed Brooke while she was married to Grandpa. Don't you see? Dad, I'm just like you. I did the same thing you yourself did in the past. Now you're punishing me? Thomas, I'm not punishing you. I'm pulling the taboo line because it's the best thing for all of us, especially you. No, Dad, no, it's not. And you are punishing me. You can't ground me, and I'm too old to send to my room. So you're taking away the one thing I've wanted my entire life. I deserve the taboo line. I've earned it. Yes, I made a stupid mistake. Do you really want to go to war with me? Battle with your own son? I don't want to argue with you. We're not arguing. Tell me the taboo line stays, and we're good. I have a right to this line. I've proven myself. If it wasn't such a big success, then yeah, I'd understand why you're so quick to end it. But this, Dad, this makes zero sense. Look, you're an excellent designer. Taboo line's been very successful, but at what price? Our family's been turned upside down because of this. Dad, it doesn't have to be that way. You're letting your emotions get the best of you. You're not acting like a CEO. You're not thinking about what's best for this company. I'm thinking about what's best for this family. Dad, you're making a big mistake over something so silly. Look, I appreciate women, all women, just like you, but you need to stop listening to mom and her insane psychobabble. Your mother knows what she's talking about more than I even realized. I should have listened to her a lot sooner. Great. Now she's got you convinced that this is a huge deal and that working with Brooke is somehow corrupting me. Why did you kiss her? You never gave me a full explanation. Like I said, I really don't know why. 
Maybe it was all the talk about Brooks Pool over the Forrester men. I wanted to see if there was any truth to it. So it was a test. It's like taking a drink when you're underage. Is it wrong? Yes. Is it the end of the world? No. Is it worth jeopardizing an entire line? Ruining our relationship? Of course not. I don't want to hurt our relationship either, Thomas. But there's a lot more going on here. More than you even realize. I should have told Rich about Thomas kissing me. I understand that now. Only because you got caught. I wanted to tell Ridge, but your son asked me not to. Oh, please don't blame him. <laughs> Honey, you are your own woman. And nobody, nobody can talk you into doing something that you don't want to do. I know, I know. OK, I made a mistake. But we all have secrets, don't we, Stephanie? Even you. We're not talking about me. You didn't want to tell your family about your cancer. Come on, <sighs> Brooke, that was something that was completely different. How is that different? Why am I so terrible when we both made mistakes? Yes, we have made mistakes. My biggest mistake was giving you my trust. Stephanie, we've been through so much. Yes, we have. We've had our issues, Stephanie. But in the last few months, we've become very, very close. And we've developed this wonderful friendship. And I don't understand why you want to throw it away over something so meaningless. You see, that's the problem. You think something as important as this is meaningless. You seduce that boy into kissing you, and then you keep this secret from your husband. I don't, I mean, it's just, sometimes your lack of self-awareness is just totally mind-boggling to me. I sometimes think you don't even know who the hell you are. I'm just a slut from the valley. Oh! I wanted to believe in you so badly. I took you into my life. I gave you my friendship. And you betrayed me. No. No, I didn't betray you. Yes, you did. I'm sorry, Taylor. I should have listened to you. I should have known that you were never going to be able to change. I should have known that. You really let me down. You let us all down. Most importantly, you let your husband down. And you know it. Time and time again, he has given you a chance over and over again, just like this family has given you another chance over and over again. And every single time, you just screw it up. Dad, I told you, I do not have feelings for Brooke. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Dad. I don't, not even a little bit. Okay, look, I know what I did was weird, but let's be honest, our family is a little weird. You've been married to Brooke how many times? Granddad, Uncle Thorne, they've both been married to her. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. So I kissed her, once, that's it, it's done. It's never gonna happen again, Dad. I certainly hope not. It won't, you have my word. So are we good? It's not really that simple. Too much has happened. The damage has been done. Why are you doing this? I should have put an end to this after that little runway stunt of yours, after that backstage photo of you half naked Come with my on, wife. Come on, Dad, that was a mistake. The dressing rooms were messed up. That turned into great publicity. Taboo yeah, is heard enough. Best. I know you're upset about this, you've pled your case, but I'm putting out the memo saying the taboo line is done. So that's it. Just like that. Just like that. And did you even stop and consider how this could damage Ridge and his son's relationship? Did you think about that? Yes. Yes, Taylor, of course I did. That's why I didn't want Ridge to find out. Oh, please, you did it because you knew he would be angry with you. You knew that. And now that he knows you've kept this secret, you're going to lose him. I, I really hate to disappoint you ladies, especially you, Taylor, knowing how badly you still want Rich. But he loves me. 
and he knows how much I love him. And our marriage is stronger than it's ever been. And it's certainly not going to be affected by some silly little kiss. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just go find my husband, my wonderful, wonderful husband, and get a wonderful hug from him, especially after this horrible beating that the two of you have given me. Can you check this over for typos? Sure. Force of Creations is ending the taboo line. I need this memo to go out immediately. You can make copies and distribute it? Uh, sure, of course. We cancel the press conference for today. There's no need to do that since the line's being canceled. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Madison. Okay. I just talked to Taylor and your mother. Mother's here? She knows. Taylor told her. How'd she react? She puts all the blame on me. It hurts. After so many years, Stephanie finally accepted me. We've been through so much together and we've grown so close. And then all of a sudden, that friendship that we created, it's just, it's over. You went to dad with this. Thomas, I had to. Do you realize what you've done? You've ruined everything. Everything I've worked so hard for, it's gone because of you. Your mother is just trying to protect you. Stop. I don't need protecting, I'm not a little kid. No, you're not, but you're in way over your head. For the record, I kissed Brooke, not the other way around. So if you're looking to blame somebody, blame me. Well, she took advantage of you. Brooke has been inappropriate with you since the day this whole project began. Mom, stop being so melodramatic. Brooke had nothing to do with it. We shared one kiss, that's all. It was stupid and wrong, but it wasn't a big deal until you found out about it. You just had to go crazy and go running to dad, didn't you? And what did he say? He's pulling the taboo line. He's putting out a memo right now. It's finished. All of my hard work down the drain because of your paranoia of Brooke. Thomas, I, I am very sorry that this has happened. I know how hard you've worked. I am so proud of the work you've done. But after everything that's happened, this is the way it has to be. Stephanie's so angry that I kept the kiss a secret from you. I'm not happy about that either. I know, and I'm sorry. I made a mistake not telling you. Yes, you did. But I can never seem to remain mad at you. Thank you for always having my back. I just hope Mother will be willing to look past this eventually as well. Mm. I don't think so. I think that's it for Stephanie and me. Well, sure nice when it lasted, you and Mother getting along. But I don't want her and Taylor ganging up on you again. <laughs> well, it's too late. Stephanie ran right back into Taylor's corner. And that really bothers me. But you know what? I've been there before, and I've survived it. They are overreacting. That kiss meant nothing. You know that, right? Come on, Rich, please. Let's just not blow this out of proportion. Let's just put it behind us, and we'll move forward with the taboo line. Business as usual. Logan, we're not moving forward. What? 
I'm pulling the taboo line. Mitch, please, don't do that. It's already done. Madison's putting out the memo saying that. No, there has to be some other way. Look, this is the right decision for our company, but it's mostly the right decision for our family. Ridge, Thomas has worked so hard on this line. Don't pull it because of some silly mistake that he did. He got carried away with the press and the excitement and the magic of Paris. It would be a mistake to pull the line. Not only would it be a bad business move, it would also destroy your relationship with Thomas. And you love your son. I know you do. I can understand why you would want to pull the line. I really do, but I, I promise you nothing like that is ever going to happen again. Taboo means so much to Thomas. Please don't take that away from him. What's up? Something's going on I think you should know about. Um, your dad gave me a memo. He's canceling the taboo line. I know. You know? Yeah. What happened? You know what? Long story. Thomas, you can talk to me. Have you sent out the memo? No. No, I, I want to tell you first. Good. Don't. What? Gather the press. They're already on their way, but your dad told me to cancel the press meeting. No, don't, don't do it. We are having the press conference, and you are not sending out that memo. But your dad, he's my boss, and he told me to get the memo out. And right. I'm telling you not to, okay? All right. Whatever you want me to do, I won't send the reporters away and I'll hold on to the memo. Good. Thank you, Mass. I'll see you at the press conference. Dad, you've got war. <laughs> 